Hey guys, it's Jayden from Landry Gaming, and in this video, I want to talk about my final theory about Battlefield 2018 before the game is officially announced. So this one has to involve a sort of alternate history route of the World War II setting. So we know from the teaser trailer that it's going to have some form of Germany involved, and it's going to be the old Germany, the Germany that used a cross inside their uh, flag, and the one, basically, Nazis. It's who we're going to be fighting. Now, most people assume this to be World War II, a majority of people did. Um, other YouTubers left this open to alternate history, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, so the potential alternate history that we could see that would um, end up allowing Germany to continue to fight, even though it is not 1942, 43, 44, or 45. So this essentially involves Germany winning the Second World War, um, and the war continues on. Um, or it's just a future war after Germany's already won World War II again. So this involves Germany either continuing World War II further on into the 1950s or the war being ended and then we see some other conflicts after Germany's already won the war and they've maintained that similar flag. So we can see this in uh, alternate history movies and TV shows such as Man in the High Castle where Germany actually nuked America in 1945 and ended up taking over America. Um, it would lead to future skirmishes and stuff like that. Um, so basically, DICE would probably take their own route of alternate history in which Germany continued the Second World War. Now this opens up a lot of really cool possibilities. So you could have futuristic weapons such as the one seen in like Captain America with Hydra. Uh, these are weapons that the Nazis weren't really working on, um, but maybe with the how fast their technology was advancing, we may have seen it um, 10 years time afterwards. The Nazi technology was advancing super fast um, compared to the other nations, and while the other nations won because of manpower and strategy, the Nazis definitely had the technological advantage over the Americans, Brits, and French, as well as the rest of the allies such as Russia during this time. Now. This would just be super cool and interesting to have a conflict surrounding it. It would also um, sort of get rid of a lot of the uh, criticism of Battlefield games where they sort of like um, dumb down history or not necessarily dumb down history but sort of disrespect the people that died. Um, if you do an alternate history, it doesn't necessarily do that. It would just uh, sort of be a fictional um, environment rather than sort of trying to simulate real events. And I also think it would give the developers a lot more creativity uh, with the multiplayer and the kind of weapons and technology they can put in. You could still have that gritty 1940s, 1950s feel of a game, but have some really, really cool technology in it. Um, do I think this is likely? No, but I'm just leaving the possibilities open for you guys because um, I know a lot of you don't necessarily want World War II, and I'm talking about some of the possibilities that maybe have a 10 or 15% chance of happening uh, just so that you guys can sort of get an idea of what we might expect if it's not World War II despite having that sort of World War II stamp on it at this time. Um, now, I know that Battlefield 5 is going to probably be revealed in 12 hours and if you're watching this video after May 23rd, you don't have to comment how dumb I am and how irrelevant this is. Uh, just sort of take this as a note for future Battlefield games. Um, this could be a concept that we could see in the future, and I feel that something like this, as well as my video I did yesterday, talking about different timelines and sort of jumping between time periods in the Battlefield game, could be something that could be really cool in future Battlefield games. Now, I acknowledge that... Um, in my last video, I talked to some people in the comments, and I acknowledge that it would be very complicated to have to try to balance multiplayer between multiple settings, um, but if done, it could be incredible uh, for the franchise. Now, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I know it's kind of a short one. It's the night before Battlefield 5, and I want to sort of just pour all the thoughts I had about potentials for the game out before the reveal comes out. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for a uh, gift card giveaway at the end of the month for PlayStation, Xbox, Steam, Origin, all that kind of stuff. If you guys are subscribed, I will pick a random winner from the comments of one of my videos this month. But again, you do have to be subscribed. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hype for the reveal tomorrow. I will have tons of videos out tomorrow talking about it. But again, that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.